Well, I grew up in Rochester, New York. I ha my family is all deaf, and so I went to a school for the deaf. And the community in Ro Rochester is actually one of the largest deaf communities in the world. So I always had equal access to information my whole life until I got to graduate school. When I went out of state for grad school, it's the first time I really confronted the, uh, the frustrations of not having access to uh, the auditory world. Um, where I ended up t spending a lot more of my own time. It just took a lot more time to get that access and to get those kinds of, that kind of information. And so with, in my experience, many of my friends and family are not even aware of environmental issues. And so to me, I want to see that awareness just increase. When, you know, when I got turned on to environmental issues, I, I want to see that information be made accessible to everybody else in my community who isn't as knowledgeable about those things. So I'm studying uh, the effects of El Nino on seaweeds in the rocky intertidal system. Um, so we, I'm looking basically at uh, past El Nino events as well as current and future events to see what the effects are on uh, the kelp communities, the seaweed communities. Kelp is a foundational species that has a lot of uh, effects on the economy as well as on the ecosystem. We have a fairly large lab. There's at least 15 of us uh, that go out to do field work year round. Uh, my field work tends to happen just in the spring and summer and it involves getting up at three or four in the morning and going out during low tide uh, out to the tide pools. There are some lab members who've actually learned some sign language, uh, some enough for me to even have a full conversation with them, which is great and it makes field work go a lot easier. It also benefits everybody in the lab because uh, sometimes they're not even communicating with me. You know, sometimes it's loud out and uh, the ambient noise can uh, just destroy the ability to communicate with spoken language. So the people who have learned sign, not only does it make it easier for them to communicate with me, but for them to communicate with each other out in the field when necessary. Like at any event, you know, environmental events or outdoor uh, activities, seminars, sometimes it can be really tough to get an interpreter. So then I miss those opportunities to connect with people, to network, to just increase my, my social network as, or my professional network as well as my knowledge. Um, when it comes to internships and jobs, more often than not, uh, I get turned down because they assume that I'm not gonna be capable. Um, and so I think that there's some of those opportunities are just missing uh, and, and uh, as a deaf person I sometimes miss out on those opportunities and I want to really uh, be able to educate people and just increase the awareness that I am able to do it, that I can do it. You know, I think it comes from ignorance more than anything. I don't think that they are intentionally trying to exclude me. I, maybe some of them are, but I really doubt it. I think most of it is just easier to choose someone that they're more accustomed to, more someone that's more familiar, rather than taking on what it would take to interact with a person in a different way than what they're used to doing.